When it comes to diminishing fine lines and wrinkles, there are many options to choose from. Our next guest is here to tell us about them. Welcome, Dr. Edward Bednar from Bednar Cosmetic Surgery. Dr. Bednar, it's great to see you. Thanks for being here today. Well, thank you. Okay, let's start by talking about filler, shall we? Most people are pretty familiar with what mm. some of those are. It's all part of the continuum of care. And what I mean by that is we're planning your lifetime your, to achieve your, your maintenance of your best appearance. Mm -hmm. So injectables, what they are are primarily hyaluronic acid fillers and the neurotoxins such as Botox, Dysport, Juvirum. These maintain your appearance by maintaining a balance. Everybody ages a little bit differently. And so if the muscle is stronger than the skin, as the skin weakens, we restore some of that balance. If the skin is actually not producing as much as its matrix, we restore it with the hyaluronic acid. So these are two of the things that we can do non-surgically. There's no downtime that really maintain your best appearance. Yeah, those are really quite easy to do. It's sometimes a little bit of bruising, but Really, yeah, it's, it's, it's nothing you can't hide with just a little bit of cover up. Okay, so Botox and fillers. Um, what about for for more permanent solutions or longer lasting solutions? Because we know with Botox, you have to to keep it up. You need to go every four months, something like right. that. Yeah, every three to four months is, is is the treatment regimen for the for the Botox. The fillers may be as long as six to eight to twelve months, depending on how much motion there is. But you really move towards the surgical side somewhere in your, during your lifetime as well. Okay, that maintains your best appearance. It's probably the best value for your dollar. There's some more permanent. You always look younger than your stated age. And the things that we do for that, of course, you know, are the kind of classical facelifts procedures, but regenerative medicine, which really what stem cell you know, are really all about is part of what we've been doing for quite some time. So fat cell transfers are part of that regenerative medicine. Fat grafting. This is fascinating. Not not all doc most doctors, in fact, don't do this. Talk about what that is, the fat transfer. The fat transfer actually takes fat from some other place. It, we aspirate it. You know, it may be from the waistline, it may be from an uh, inner outer thigh region, but what we do is we spin it down, we concentrate it, and what we do is we restore the volume to the face because it's deflating with time, with age. And everybody ages a little bit differently. But it happens to most of us, right? We start to it, deflate. It's going to happen to everybody, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Right. But, but different ethnicities actually age a little bit differently, too. They may not get quite as much skin laxity. They may get more deflation. So this is applicable to all I individuals, mm -hmm. and so from that standpoint. But again, individualizing the treatment. And, and the artistic aspect to this is what's so important. This mm -hmm. is a sculpting process. We should mention you are an artist, you are a sculptor, and that really comes into play oh. with your work doing that's this. That's really, that aptitude has helped me more in my plastic surgical uh, procedures than, than anything else I could have imagined. Um, over time, you can see here the, you know, the portraits that I've painted over time. This gives me a window to, to somebody's facial topography mm -hmm. and uh, my grandfather was an American Indian uh, so there's their favorite uh, subject oh, of mine. Oh, okay, that's so, why you paint them so that's, much. That's, that's right. But understanding someone's facial topography has a lot to do with restoring their natural appearance, and it's all about looking natural. I want to show people what the fat grafting look like, looks like, and you can see how natural looking it really is. Again, it's a more permanent solution. Here's a before and after. You can see in the after picture the volume is really just restored to her face. Right. It softens up the face back to that to that youthfulness. What happens is, is as you deflate, then you get all kinds of undulations in the skin, folds and lines and wrinkles. But the regenerative action of stem cells brings in a, a whole new population that restores, recruits, it restores circulation. It really does rejuvenate as well. Here's another view of the same. Yeah, right. same and one. as I said, it's just restoring the natural appearance to, to the individual. And again, the, because it's your own cells, it's your own fat. You're transferring that. It, you're, does your body accept it better than oh, it would yeah, with a filler? Obviously, it's not going to be rejected at all. It is your mm -hmm. own cells. It's not unlike taking a skin graft from one area of the body and placing it. On a wound. It's the same principle. And so it gets its own blood supply, and as I said, it rejuvenates that area, and it is a, a permanent. Now, it doesn't mean you stop aging, because, you know, it'll continue, the, that process will continue. But it's a maintenance type of, uh, of process that over time we find actually can hold off and stave off some of the more extensive procedures that we've had with fish rejuvenation. So seek it early. When you start seeing the changes, that's the time to seek it. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Um, what is the recovery from something like that like? Well, if it's a surgical procedure, you've got to plan on a good three to five to seven days, you know, kind of out of the social setting. And okay. that depends on how much you may bruise or swell. And everybody, you know, has a little bit different kind of reaction to any kind of surgical process. So the recovery time for a surgical procedure it does require you investing a little bit of time away. It's not that you ha have to be uh, sedentary. You can take care of it. things. You mm -hmm. may have work at home you can take care of. It's not debilitating. But it's just uh, kind of out of the social Scene for a little while. I've seen more of those before and afters of uh, patients who you've worked with, who you've done the fat grafting with, and it's 
It's incredible. These people look 10 years younger. It's incredible to me. Uh, Dr. Bednar offers complimentary consultations. Call 704 366 6700. The number again, it's 704 366 6700. The website also has all yes. of those examples. DrBednar.com. DrBednar.com. You can see more before and after pictures. It's great fun. Thank you very much. You do great work, <laughs> Dr. Bednar. Thank you. Thank you.